our feature story of the month, we're going to talk about probably the most famous vehicle the Denver Police Department ever had. It's called the Bandit Chaser. In the early 1920s, of course, Prohibition was in effect, and the bootleggers were in town. In late 1918-1919, the department started having, making plans about building a special riot car. Finally, in 1921, the vehicle was completed. It had a Cadillac chassis with a Cadillac engine, capable of 70 miles an hour. It had a special one-piece body, no doors, it had a bulletproof windshield, it had seats, six bucket seats for six officers. It had a machine gun mounted on the windshield, an old Lewis gun from World War I. It had four shotguns with bayonets and two rifles. It had a siren, it had a place for a stretcher for a wounded officer, and it actually had hooks below the seats, which were slightly elevated in the back of the car, so officers could hook their feet, stand above the officers seated in front of them, and shoot while the vehicle was going down the road, sirens blazing. It had uh, bulletproof armor, and it also had covers over the rear wheels to prevent officers' feet from being tangled in the spokes of the wheels. On the very front of the car was a T-shaped piece of steel that rounded around the front of the car, which was designed to, get this, push cars into ditches that wouldn't stop for them. The consistent myth of the bandit chaser that I've been asked repeatedly is that officers were killed in a terrible accident in the bandit chaser. Well, that's not true. There's another case of where actually two other vehicles on Denver PD crashed. And that we're going to explore next month another episode of Denver Police History.